host Julie and I'm back with another Bible story. Today we're going to learn about a husband and a wife who told another person about Jesus. So husband and wife are different types of families. We've talked about brothers and sisters, we've talked about uncles and nephews, we've talked about um, other kinds of family relations, right? And so today our story is going to be about a husband and a wife. And this story comes from the New Testament in the book of Acts. So there's, if you go through the beginning of the New Testament, you go Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. So it's the fifth book, but in the New Testament. So you got to go to the end of the Bible, and you'll look for Acts at the very, very top. But now remember, if you say, oh, Miss Julie, I can't remember where to find all these books, you can have Mom and Dad help you, because at the beginning of your Bible is a table of contents, and that will tell you where they are. But today's Bible story is going to come from Acts chapter 18. And we're going to learn about people called Priscilla and Aquila. And there's a picture. We'll learn more about that in a little bit. Okay? So, Paul was someone who taught about Jesus, right? And he wanted everybody everywhere to hear about Jesus. So one day, Paul met a man named Aquila and his wife, Priscilla, in a city called Corinth. Aquila and Priscilla loved Jesus and wanted to learn more about him. So they invited Paul to stay at their house. Now Aquila and Priscilla, their job, they worked making tents. Well, Paul knew how to make tents too. So Paul helped Aquila and Priscilla sew tents while he stayed at their house. Paul, Aquila, and Priscilla became very good friends. Aquila and Priscilla went with Paul to another city to tell more people about Jesus. In this city, Aquila and Priscilla met a man named Apollos. Apollos had learned many things about the Bible, but Aquila and Priscilla wanted to help Apollos learn even more about God and Jesus. They invited Apollos to their house. They explained more about God and Jesus, and Apollos was happy that Aquila and Priscilla had taught him. Apollos wanted to tell others what he had learned about God and Jesus, and Apollos traveled to other cities to tell people about Jesus. Wow, that's a really neat story. So here in our picture, you can see the tent in the background, right? We talked about how Aquila and Priscilla made tents. And you can just see all the people that are gathering there to learn about Jesus. That's really neat. I like how God can use one person to teach maybe a couple more people, and then they can use those couple people to go teach new people. And then they took Apollos. God will use Apollos, and he'll teach even more people about Jesus. Right? So that's kind of like when I was a kid, somebody taught me about Jesus, right? And now that I'm a little bit bigger and I'm grown up, I'm teaching you about Jesus. And did you know you don't have to wait until you're grown up? You can go tell people about Jesus right now. Kind of like our story, right? One person told some more people, told more people, told more people. That's pretty neat. I like that. I also like singing our Bible verse. So are you ready to do that with me? You remember our melody? We've been working on it all month long, right? The tune is, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. But we may change up the words to our Bible verse, okay? So, show love to one another, Romans 12, 10. Show love to one another, Romans 12, 10. Show love to one another, Romans 12, 10. Show love to one another. Great job. In this story, we showed, we learned about how they showed love to one another by sharing about Jesus, right? It was kind of like a little domino. One person told somebody else, told somebody else, told somebody else. That's pretty neat. Now, this whole month, we've been talking about how to love your family, right? So I wanted to go over this book real quick with you. And this talks about how God's plan is for family members to get along. So you can see in some of these pictures, they don't really look like they're getting along because they're fighting on the same, over the same toy. But these friends are getting along, right? And these friends, they don't look like they're getting along very well because, or maybe they're sisters, right? Because they kind of have mad faces. But then maybe this grandpa and this grandson, they're getting along because they're playing together. And they, they're getting along because they're reading a book together, right? So I like, I like the pictures better and the times better when people are getting along. And let's see, family members love and help one another, right? So let's see, where are they helping? This picture they're helping because they're reading the Bible or a book, but I think it's the Bible. Here, that, that big brother doesn't really look like he's helping the little sister. He's got his feet on her back. That looks like might hurt her. 
And here, oh, they're scratching. That doesn't look very helpful. Here, they're washing the car together. And here, they're baking, cooking something together. So that's helping, right? And family members can worship and tell about God, just like our Bible story today, right? The husband and wife loved and worshiped God, and they told other people about him, right? So in this one, we're going to point to the pictures where family members are worshiping and telling other people about God. Well, this guy, he's riding his bike, and he looks like he might be kind of sad or crying, so I don't think he's worshiping God in that picture. But these ones, they're singing from um, maybe a hymnal book. They're singing songs or reading, so they look like they're worshiping together. And these, they're just hanging out together. Did you know that when you hang out with somebody else and just talk about Jesus, that's worshiping God too? And here they're talking to each other, and here they're reading a book. So you can't really tell what they're doing in there, but maybe they're reading a story about Jesus. Maybe they're telling each other about Jesus, right? But in all we do, show love to one another. That's what God wants us to do, right? All right, let's close our time with a quick prayer to say thanks to God for his Bible. Dear God, thank you for your Bible. Thank you for the many stories about families loving each other and loving you. Help me to love my family and love you too. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Great job. See you later.